<clears throat> well, welcome everybody. Um, we're going to start today with uh, doing some Kapalabhati breathing and part of that is because we are well into or we're coming into what's going to be allergy season. Um, so what that means is that there's going to be a lot more stuff in the air and uh, having this ability to kind of clear out stagnation in your mucous membranes, to clear out stagnation in the, you know, the mental spaces, they kind of go hand in hand. So physically, Kapalabhati breathing is really helpful during allergy season to kind of move things out of your sinuses. Um, and at the same time, it's really helpful on an energetic level because it helps to move stagnant energy through your mind. Um, so it's a great thing to do before meditation so that you're able to settle into yourself in a much easier way. So what Kapalabhati breath is, if you haven't done it before, or you're not familiar, is that it's active exhale through the nose. So everything is through the nose and it's pumping your navel on the exhale. So every exhale is you're drawing the navel in as you exhale through the nose, the inhale happens passively. So you're just exhaling, 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 pulling the navel in every time, okay? So find a comfortable position for the hands on your knees or your thighs. And then you're gonna take a full deep breath in through your nose. Full deep breath out through the nose. So then you're going to inhale about halfway and then begin to exhale, 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 exhale. Keep going, drawing the navel in with every exhale. Again, you're moving the energy through your sinuses, you're moving the energy through your mind. Exhale, 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 keep going. Good, it's a pulling in, but it's a gentle pulling in. Good, try to keep a rhythm for yourself. Exhale all the way out, pause, and inhale, full breath in, full breath out. Just feel for a moment. We're gonna do the same thing again, so deep breath in. A deep breath out. Breathe in about halfway and then begin to exhale, 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 navel, 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 navel. Keep going. They call this skull shining breath. So if you start to feel a little tingly through your sinuses, that's normal. Clears the cobwebs of the mind. Keep going. Energizes the navel, helps the balance if there's a little stagnation in your digestion. Good. Exhale all the way out. Pause, no breath. And then inhale fully. Exhale all the way out. Just feel what the breath do, what it does. The suggestion before we started was also to have an idea of what we can do to help relax the mind before sleep, especially when the mind is racing. What we're always looking for in meditation and yoga in general is this sense of balance, that we are not too stimulated, but we're not too lethargic, that we're somewhere in between so that when we need to be awake, we can be awake. And when we need to rest, we're able to rest. And so Kapalabhati as a regular practice is something that helps with this because it helps to regulate again digestion. It helps to move stagnation, helps to clear the accumulated thoughts in the mind accumulated energy in the body. So one more round, deep breath in. 
Deep breath all the way out. Breathe in about halfway and begin to exhale, 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 exhale. Keep going. Don't let the navel give up on you. It's not just an exhale through the nose, the navel moving. Exhale all the way out. Pause, no breath. And then inhale, full breath in. Exhale all the way out. Let the breath return to its natural flow. And maybe you feel your blood moving a little bit faster. Maybe you feel that tingling somewhere in your head, your sinuses. If you were a little tired, maybe you feel more awake. If you were a little bit overstimulated, maybe you actually feel more calm. The beauty of this breath is that it balances, regulates. If you do it too much, it might become overstimulating, but it's hard to do it too much. We'll let the eyes float open for a moment. So the meditation we're going to do today, it's um, the Sata Nama meditation. It actually comes from Kundalini tradition. But um, I like it because, again, it's something that helps to create connection and balances a little bit um, what's going on with our nervous system and what goes on, you know, in our minds. So how it goes is the mantra is literally Sata Nama, repeated. And every time each syllable is you're touching fingers to each other. So there's different mudras. So on the word sa, you're touching thumb and first finger together. Ta, thumb and middle finger together. Na, thumb and ring finger. Ma, thumb and pinky. Sa, ta, na, ma. All right. And so what's represented here is that with the first finger, we're representing the energy of birth. Second finger, the energy of living or sustaining the third finger, the energy of dissolving or death, and the last finger is the energy of rebirth, what it means to bring all of that back together into unity, right? So we're gonna practice that mantra. Both hands are going to do the mudras, resting on the knees or the thighs. And it begins as a um, audible mantra, but then it goes to an internal. So we're gonna start audible, and then I'm gonna ask you to bring it into silence in your own mind, and then uh, we'll bring it back to audible at some point, okay? So find the comfortable position for the hands, comfortable position for your seat. And I'm gonna start with you. And when we go into silence, I will go into silence with you, okay? So nice, comfortable seat. You can let the eyes close. If you would like to continue to just let your uh, mind follow the breath in and out, it's a beautiful visualization. And we're gonna begin. Touching fingers together. Sa, ta, na, ma. 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 Be saying it to yourself. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta. Na, ma, sa, ta, 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 na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, 
ma sa ta na 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 ma bring it internal continue to say the mantra in your mind touching the fingers with each syllable meditation to bring balance helps to clear out whatever may have become stuck or stagnant in subconscious mind. Keep touching the fingers. Sa, ta, na, ma. If you lose it for a moment, come back to it. And to whisper the mantra audibly again to yourself. Louder, sa, ta, na, ma, 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 sa, ta, na, ma. 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 Last one. Sa, ta, na, ma. Choose whichever finger you'd like to place together, first, second, third, or fourth, and then let, let the hands rest on the knees or the thighs. Just let yourself follow the breath in, follow the breath out. It feels better to have no fingers touching, you're welcome to do that.
And bring the mind back to the feeling of the body, drop into what your seat feels like. The ability to actually feel where there needs to be a little bit more attention. The emotions are running high, the thoughts that are the most prominent, notice them. And then feel the space that is all around those thoughts. Connect with the ability that you have to notice a thought for what it is. And being able to pick up individual grains of sand. And allow all the thoughts to flow together. So they are one stream, one river. We're still sitting and watching. Watching the thoughts go by and maybe you notice one poke its head up like a fish. And then there it goes again. Your mind is watching the thoughts feel the space that is all around you as you watch. As your mind starts following the thoughts, interrupt the stop. Stop. Not, not. Interrupt by bringing the fingers together in one of the new plates. Go back to watching. And let your mind move away from that image and instead imagine in front of your inner vision that there is a screen, blank screen, the television or a movie screen. And allow the thoughts to project onto that screen, whatever is there. No attempt to change the thoughts at all. No attempt to direct. Always just watching. Aware of your ability to observe. Whatever arises on the screen, maybe it's a romantic comedy, maybe it's a horror movie. Just observe. If the mind gets too involved, interrupt. Stop. Stop.
let the mind move away from that image, letting the screen dissolve. And back to the feeling of the body itself, your feet. Start to let the fingers move. Let the head roll in gentle circles, maybe only half circles, but move the neck. And then come back to stillness and let the eyes float open. So, badly. so the mantra is whenever we use one is the idea of a mantra is that it becomes that lifeline um, when you are a little bit lost in your own mind and it becomes the way that you interrupt right because what happens is the thoughts get into a pattern they get into a groove that's what it said is it actually creates the grooves in our brain right the way that we experience the world creates grooves in our brain we have that same thing that happens mentally in our energy is that when we have the same thoughts over and over again, it creates a groove. And then the mind will keep following those grooves that are the easiest. It keeps falling into the same thoughts. It keeps falling into the same ideas over and over again. And those grooves get deeper. And then it feels like those thoughts are inescapable. So mantras are one way, and it doesn't have to be sata nama, it could be any mantra, but the mantras are one way to interrupt that. So the more often you interrupt your habitual thought patterns is it puts you back into the space of the observer, right? Puts you back into the space of what we call the witness consciousness. So your ability to observe your thoughts in yogic understanding means that you are not your thoughts, right? Because there's a part of you that's able to just watch, that's able to see them as separate. So part of that practice is to continuously make this space between your ability to observe and the thinking that's happening. So it's one of my suggestions for if the mind is overactive at any point in your day is a mantra is a really good thing to adopt because it's a way to interrupt your thoughts, right? So it's something that you can do that will give your mind a new groove, a new pattern to be working through repeating the mantra over and over again. And it interrupts whatever the other pattern is. Um, so that's one of my suggestions for if the mind is overactive. And uh, you can certainly do that practice before sleep or have it be something that is um, part of your routine to interrupt the mind when it's going too fast. Um, so again, it doesn't have to be that mantra, but I like that one because it does create a sense of balance to all parts of our experience, right? So whichever finger you felt drawn to, whatever it represents, is maybe that's the energy that you need a little bit more of. Right? If you are drawn to the energy of dissolving, maybe there's something that needs to dissolve in your life. If there's a little bit more of that feeling of I need the energy of birth or I need the energy of newness, right? that that's something that you're calling for. So we pay attention to, again, that tangible um, ability to break out of our mind. And that's what mudras do, is they give us an ability to come back to the physical representation of our experience, the physical, what we're going through. So that's a practice that you can do every day, the satanama, exactly as we did it, as you start out speaking it out loud, you go to the whisper, you go to silence, continuing to speak the mantra, and then you come back from the silence into a whisper and then back to a full voice before you end. Recommended three minutes for each. We didn't do that long for all of them, but um, if you want to do that practice, if that's one that you can do. So get up, change your seat if you need. So get up, get up and get your sillies out. Wiggle if you need. <laughs> and even if you think you don't need, maybe move around, do a little twisting, a little forward fold. Good. Because our seat starts to get stagnant, right? Our, our joints start to get stagnant. Our body starts to get stagnant when we stay in one place. And so meditation is about creating inner stillness, but it's not about uh, getting ourselves stuck into one position that we can't ever get out of. So we want meditation to be something that we bring with us everywhere that we go. It's an internal state to be in. So refine your seat, whatever that happens to look like. And then we're going to do a little uh, breath work. Again, as a offering or an opportunity for something that can be done before bed to help settle the mind. And at any time that the mind is feeling overactive, is this kind of breathing is helpful. 
So what we're doing is we're breathing with the intention of lengthening the exhale. So the ratio of the breath that we're looking for is um, the exhale to be double what the inhale is. So this involves a little bit of counting. Um, so we're going to begin with something that, uh, with a count that's pretty easy for everyone. We're going to start inhaling to the count of four, and then you're going to practice exhaling to the count of eight. All right, so that's what we're, we're gearing towards, we're moving towards. So we're actually going to start, sorry, count of four, and then we're going to exhale count of four. So they're going to be equal to begin, and then we're going to start lengthening the exhales. So again, find a comfortable seat. And of course, the ratio can be any number, but you're looking for doubling the exhale to the inhale. So if we get to four and eight, and that feels like your breath can really go beyond that, and you want to start lengthening your inhales, you can do that, but then you have to lengthen the exhale to double whatever that number is. Comfortable seat. Eyes can be open or closed, your choice. But you're coming into that awareness again of your breath so that you can feel it. And I want you to be able to feel that you're using the whole capacity of your breathing so that as you inhale, you're allowing the belly to expand. You're allowing the rib cage to go wide. And you're allowing the upper chest to, to lift as well. So if we're not using our full capacity, it becomes difficult to increase the range of our breath. So start with that. Can you feel that the belly is allowed to expand on the inhale? Ribs are allowed to expand to the side. And just this, allowing the body to expand to its full capacity can help release stress. Whatever it is in you that habitually holds your stomach in or that habitually holds your shoulders tight. Focus on expanding through your breath. And then as you inhale, begin to mentally count, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhaling to five, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhaling to six, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, Four, exhaling to seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four, exhaling to eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continue, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Couple more on your own, breathing in, breathing out. And use your full capacity to move those exhales. The more you exhale, the inhale happens more completely. It's going all the way to eight feels like it's a struggle. You choose whatever number allows you to feel the capacity of your breath without strain. Maybe it's inhaling four, exhaling to six. Maybe tomorrow will be exhaling to seven. End of your next breath. Release the counting. Let the breath return to its normal flow. Bring the awareness back to feel of the body. And when you're ready, let the eyes float open. This would be one of my suggestions for before sleep. Of course, it's a great practice to do all the time, lengthening the exhale, because it will, in general, bring down stress levels. It will, in general, begin to uh, relax the mind, but especially before sleep, long, long exhales help to stimulate the parasympathetic part of our nervous system, which is what we want when we're sleeping. So this would be another one of my suggestions is to focus on the breath in this way before you're going to go to sleep to calm that feeling of overactivity. Another great option that I'm just going to suggest to you before sleep is left nostril breathing. So closing off the right nostril, breathing in and out just to the left. Also very helpful for awakening that same part of your nervous system and um, helping to relax the body for sleep. So these are some possibilities. And again, they're meant to be a way to bring you back into that state where you feel balanced between waking and sleeping, active and restful. So that's what we're doing. Meditation is being in that space that is between. Right? It's not one or the other, but where it's open to both. So wherever you feel yourself heading habitually, meditation is a way to interrupt your habits and to create a space for there to be something more, something different. So I hope you use any or all of these tools if you too have a racing mind before you sleep or a racing mind at any point in your day. And as always, uh, please send me suggestions or things that you want. I love it if there is something that uh, I can offer that's going to be of help to you. Um, I'm happy to do so. You just let me know. So hands to heart center, please, for a moment. Deep breath into yourself. And sliding the hands up to the space between the eyebrows. Namaste. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you soon. Come back.